there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. Beautiful Navy Day X. Yeah, it is. I bet Commander Flynn's green with envy. What do you think of the new CO? He's not Mike Flynn. <laughs> I, I have no idea. I haven't had a chance to speak with him since he's taken this command. Morning, all. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. Good morning. X, we've been on operations a while now. I think it's time the crew got to let off a bit of steam, don't you? Oh, what did you have in mind, sir? Oh, a bit of crew bonding, you know? Get to know each other better. Call it Operation Relax. Relax? Yeah. Let's start bringing them down now, Swaino. What's up? That's an order. That was a clear foul. Oh. Oh. He fell. <laughs> with a common man. Oh. He doesn't put enough emphasis on communications. You sound as though you're resistant to the change. You don't miss Mike Flynn? X! Oh! Fair go. Yeah, just going for the ball, Bob. No yeah. balls here, two lads. Oh, yeah. Nice one, oh, oh. Don't look at me. You kicked it. You go get it. Where you go? Fine. Run, Forrest, run. And watch out for the crocs. Gross. I died. Oh. 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 Crocs there, sir. Was. Uh, Someone's killed all the crocs and skinned them. Poachers. Taken the eggs as well, the mongrels. <laughs> this is not on. This is Australian territory. Crocs are protected. <clears throat> Gonna stop this butchery. <clears throat> Sorry, X got caught up. That's perfect. Thank you. Come in. So where do you think these poachers are coming from? 
My guess is the Taluk Islands. I spent a bit of time there recently. There's a fat market in Rakara, flogging skins and live juvenile crocs. Mike Flynn's my right hand. I'd like him to hear this too. Congratulations on your promotion. Steve. Ex. Sir. Hope you're taking good care of Hammersley. Like a duck to water, sir. Lieutenant McGregor's been showing me the ropes. Steve's just been filling me in on some serious crock poaching operating in our waters. Yeah, it's nesting season, so eggs are rife. I reckon they'll be back over the coming weeks. Crock trade's worth millions worldwide. They get about 600 bucks a skin, which to them's worth more than a human life, let alone a poor croc. <laughs> you seem to have a bit of a soft spot for them. Well, it's a fascinating creature, the crocodile. No oil painting, but their uh, mating and sexual rituals are very passionate, very romantic. Well, uh, it seems we may have an opportunity here. What do you think, Mike? <clears throat> Matt? To nap the poachers. Oh, yes. Uh, well, I think it's worth a shot. With some nighttime surveillance. You might get lucky. Well, with your permission, ma'am, we'll sail this afternoon. Good. Uh, sir, perhaps a night off before we sail? Sorry, X. Been... I've got a head of steam up on this one. I'll make it up to the crew once we've nabbed ourselves some poachers. Lieutenant, a word before you leave, please. You take your time, X. I'll be waiting in the car. Yes, sir. Oh, you and Steve Irwin have clearly hit it off. Well, he's very knowledgeable and uh, obviously very fond of crocodiles. crocodiles. <laughs> You're fitting in well here. Yeah, it's better than I thought. Mm -hmm. I suppose I should have done it earlier. You were right. Well, I guess we'll see each other once you've nabbed those poachers. Guess we will. rotation you're in the galley which basically means you're my assistant you need those and that and you can start with these potatoes okay oh babe I was looking for you uh dinner's not for another two hours check it out <gasps> oh is, is that a croc egg yeah I rescued him from that nest we found. Poachers must have missed it. He's undamaged. He wants you to cook it. <gasps> Don't listen to him. He's inhumane. <clears throat> now I'm going to nurture him and I'm going to hatch a little croc. What, so I can grow into a man-eating killer? It's a great idea too, Dads. I'm going to take him to a sanctuary when I hatch him. I think that is really sweet of you too, Dads. <laughs> Isn't it? No comment. Bird, the gash needs stitching. Oh, hey, hey, I can do that. Bird, hold on. Yeah, you hold on to it. Be very gentle. Okay. Robert, why is everyone paying all this attention to Bird? Well, I thought it would have been pretty obvious. I mean, she's really sweet. Come on, Ro. Everyone's falling over themselves to be nice to her, and I'm just ignored. Come on, Bommy, you're not ignored. You're just... What? Well... You're one of the boys. Oh, sir, we're coming up on the crop grounds now. Very good. Slow ahead, both engines. Slow ahead, both engines. Charge, let's kill the navalites. Darkening the ship, sir. X, have a rib crew on standby, ready to launch. Sir, rib crew standing by. Excellent. I'll have an ex who can anticipate an order. Right, we'll settle in for some surveillance. Oh no. Two dads! The croc, it's hatched. Where is he? I, I just came in and it was gone. You lost him? Where is he? No, 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 he's, he... not, he's not here. I've looked. I thought you were looking after him. What? We're going to have to search this whole boat before somebody loses a finger or a toe bird. Come on, help me look. I have a contact at Green 10, range 6 nautical miles. Very good. Dutchie, can you pick that up on the floor? Yes, sir, I've got it. It's a possible FFE. 
She's stationary. Well, there's no activity on deck. Not much fishing going on there. Follow me. Okay. They're sitting there, and there's an estuary just there. X, get a rib into Reggie. Away, sea boat, away, sea boat. City. Ma'am, over there, and they've got a croc. Okay, lights up. Let's go. Okay, let's go. It's the Australian Navy. Here they are. Here they are. Stop your engines. Stop your engines, or we'll fire upon you. Hey, bro, prepare. Shot across their bow. Oh, man. Roger that, Thunder. Launching lightning to assist, over. Stand by to launch port seaboat. Made it back to the mothership. Damn it. OK, stop the engine. Stop the engine. Did you think you saw her? Have we gone past her? Right, where? Come on. It's just a nasty gash, okay? Are you sure you're not humouring me because I can't feel it? Bomber, it's fine, all right? I told you, you probably just got it snagged on a branch when you went in the water. But I'm going to need your help here. Can you get me some antiseptic wash and uh, some field dressing, please? Swain, are you sure it's not a crock bite? Bomber, it's fine. Let's give Swain some space. Good luck, R.O. Swain. Don't you stand there. Bomber, you'll be okay. Come on, mate. You're all right. Maybe she should just stick to cooking. Still got them on a bearing of 355 degrees. Can we catch them, sir? They've had such a massive head start. They'll be in foreign waters before we can apprehend them. Recommend we abandon pursuit, sir. We're just burning fuel here. I'll worry about our fuel consumption charge. X set course for Ricara. Sir? I reckon that's their heading. Their vessel's a typical stink boat of that region. Even if you're right, we have no jurisdiction there. I don't need jurisdiction for a goodwill visit. Steer 355. Steering 355. So, has anyone asked about me? Uh, well, they said good on ya. Are you serious? I always get eaten by a croc and that's all they've got to say? <sighs> Ow! What? <gasps> What happened? There's a croc in my rack. What? What? Uh, well, it looks like it's of the non-lethal species. Crocodilus latexus. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> you okay? You sure? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Do you want us to get your hot chocolate or something? <laughs> Cup of tea? I'm fine. Sure? <laughs> All right. Orange juice. Come on, come on. No, no. No. Hot milk. <laughs> there it is, sir. I can see that, leader. 
X, once we're alongside, announce 24 hours R and R for the crew. Very good, sir. What do you intend to do about the poachers? I want to meet with the local authorities. Party time. XO has the con. XO has the con. Ready to party, ladies? Hey, you set me up. There was never a baby croc, was there? Not exactly. But the upside is I'm genuinely ashamed of myself. So much so that let's hit the town together. Drinks are on me. Sorry, two dads. Bird's on galley duties. She's cleaning out the ovens. You're gonna have to find another playmate. Getting her to clean ovens, that's not picking on her. Yeah, I'd hate to see you with a real growth. Oh, for your information, she's underage. She couldn't come out on the gas with us anyway. Could she, Swain? Well, she could have had a guava juice or something. Oh, yeah, and how boring would that be, listening to a bunch of drunken sailors banging on the night? Excuse me, no, 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 no. I happen to be very entertaining when I'm socially lubricated. Hey, what about this place? The Crocodilo Bar. Right. Check out those dudes by the bar. I reckon they got low-life poachers stamped to their foreheads. Hey, come on, let's forget about the crocs now. We're here to relax, buddy. Yeah. It's your shout. There you go. Nuts or butts? Five years, please. Snappy time! Thank Why are they selling baby chicks? Kai You want to buy? What is kai kai? Kai kai is food. Food for what? Schnappi. Oh, no. This is unbloody believable. How much? You want to buy? Yeah, the whole lot, the whole basket. How much? Do you have a problem? Yeah, I've got a problem. This is cruelty to animals. You can't do this. I'll do what I like. This is my place. You fool. Hey, hey, do that, hey. Just leave. Someone just say, it's to my face. Whoa! Hey, 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 Trick, can't right? Huh? Did he? Bus sucks. Yeah. I bet you that croc is an Aussie poached from our waters. And we can't prove anything, so you may as well just forget about it, okay? Let's just find a place for a drink and a decent feed, hey? You guys go. I'm not hungry. Are well, you not going to go back to the ship? Nah. I, mean, I think I'll check out that little gambling place we passed before. Trust you to sniff out a poker game, two dads. Catch you later, eh? I'm off too. I've, I'd love to have a big night, but I've got duty watch, so. Well, let's go and get some food. I don't understand how the crocodile's face. Different set of rules. It's just not right. No. Have fun, eh? your brew. Thanks. I actually thought that you might like some company. Uh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just taking this opportunity to write up the man overboard report. Thanks all the same. Where is everyone, X? Uh, most of the crew have gone into town, sir. How'd you go with the local authorities? <sighs> Complete waste of time. Corrupt as hell. Uh, they're paid off by some local business identity, that's the word. So they'll do nothing about the poaching? Well, I'll put it this way, the guy I reported it to was wearing croc skin boots. <laughs> what does that tell you? Well, that it's futile and we're impotent in this situation. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Hey, you want to buy? Hey, guy, hey, you want to buy? You want to buy? He gets hungry. Just take one. No, 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 no. Hey, get out. You're barred. Not till I get those chicks. 
How much I appreciate you helping me out back there. Well, you caused that. <laughs> I only stepped in because you were about to get your throat cut. Oh, man. I'm sure glad you stepped in when you did. Leader, I just want to make one thing very clear. I'm the CEO, and I was never there. I trust we understand each other? Yes, sir. Perfectly, sir. You can count on me. I hope so. to you last night? A few hands of poker. Looks like more than a poke, judging by those bruises. We had a slight disagreement. Said you win? Uh, you know, poker, you win some, you lose some. Yeah, I'm talking about the fight. Look, Ro, I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention it to anyone, OK? Navy Command has received a formal complaint from the relevant authorities in Rakar from a local businessman there. Now, it pertains to $50,000 damage to an establishment called the Crocodillo Bar and... ..the kidnap and murder of a pet croc. Allegedly by an Australian sailor. If you have any knowledge of this incident, you'd better tell me right now. I can assure you, ma'am, I know absolutely nothing about it. The bar owner, Mr Malachi, He's demanding reimbursement uh, for the croc, too. Apparently, it was a bit of a tourist attraction and uh, accounted for a large part of his earnings. Well, I can't say I feel much sympathy for him. It's people like this that keep the croc poaching industry thriving. Lieutenant Commander Coburn, I think you're missing the point. This incident will have serious repercussions. Now, it brings the Navy into disrepute and it threatens our goodwill in that region, and I am really keen to clear this up before it hits the press. I can appreciate that, ma'am, but let me reassure you that none of my crew, none of my boys, had anything to do with it. I run a very tight ship. Well, you are new to this crew, Steve. Yes, there's another possible explanation. Go on. Well, the local authorities are corrupt. My investigations whilst there indicate that they're being paid off by local business identities connected to the croc poachers. Yes, I've read your report. It's quid pro quo. We report them for croc poaching, they accuse us of this rubbish and try and shake down the Australian government for money while they're at it. All right. Leave it with me. Ma'am? What do you make of all this, Mike? I tend to agree. It doesn't sound like my crew. The Hammersley crew. Is that separation anxiety speaking? Maybe just a bit. Mm. I need you to go down there and interview the crew and see what shakes out. Well, shouldn't we leave that to Coburn? I don't want to step... I know, but you're not their CEO now then you need to step up to the responsibilities of this position. Unless, of course, you don't feel you can be impartial. And if that were the case, I'd personally be very disappointed. Sounds like a beat-up to me. Those tossers should be thankful we didn't trash their joint. Oh, I can't believe Nefcom's taking such a bogus claim seriously. Kidnapping and murder of crocs is ridiculous. Dead crocs a good croc if you ask me.
Well, Commander White is no slouch. There'll be an investigation for sure. You worry too much, X. It'll blow over. You mark my words. Gangway! Steve. X. Commander, welcome aboard. Any excuse to visit the old girl, eh? <laughs> I've been tasked with interviewing your crew about the Rakara incident. Rakara, right. I thought we had that sorted. If there's any interviewing to be done, I should be the one doing it. It's just that Commander White feels I have more history with the crew. Well, this is an affront to my status as CO. It's not personal, Steve. OK. Well, I'll be sitting in then. That won't be necessary. I'll be taking care of this. So I've set up the wardroom for interviews and posted a roster of those that had short leave. Thanks, X. Between us, you know I'd really rather not be doing this. I know. But if there is any truth in it, they're lucky that you're handling it, Commander. Are you saying it did happen? No, 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 I'm not at all. It's just that it's good to see you. We still on for tonight? Tonight, absolutely. Congratulations on your promotion, sir. Thank you. Take a seat, Judge. Sure. So, you were at this crocodilo bar? Yeah. Yeah, a few of us were there, and um, we saw them feeding baby chicks to a croc. Two dads had a few words with the owner. Two dads? Why doesn't that surprise me? Look, sir, he got a bit upset, but... There was no brawl, there was no damage, and <laughs> definitely no croc kidnap. And then you all left, including two dads? We were out of there in five minutes tops. Sir, trust me. You'll be next, two dads. So apparently the report also mentions assault. They claim there was a fist fight. Some people will say anything. I'm personally outraged at the whole thing. It's just a waste of time. Hmm. <clears throat> it's ironic, really, because I, I believe I know how you got those bruises. Bro, you think I had something to do with it, yeah? <laughs> I told you. I was playing poker. Mm. How could I be in two places at the same time? Oh, yeah. It's impossible. Oh, You're delusional. No. I'm, I'm jumping to conclusions. I'm obviously a naturally suspicious person. You've got to work on that road. However, the Navy's not going to let it go to that. So, like, get to the bottom of it. What do you mean? Well, they'll expend resources. They'll bring over witnesses. They'll put us in a lineup. It'll be like a royal commission. And the longer it goes on, the more money that they spend, the worse it is going to be for the culprit. Okay, two dads. Commander Flynn will see you next. <clears throat> Ma'am? I think I'm going to need your help. He's admitted to getting into an argument with the owner, which led to the fight and to the damage to the bar, and also to removing the crocodile from the premises. Leader, why did you remove the crocodile from the bar? Uh, Ma'am, I decided it should be liberated. I feel really bad. He got run over. He's an animal lover, ma'am. Well, that's commendable. But your drunk and disorderly behaviour and this damage bill isn't. You've brought the Navy into disrepute and you will be charged at a formal hearing. Ma'am, I'll be happy to accept whatever punishment you see fit. Well, that's yet to be decided. Firstly, I'd like to know who was the second sailor with you. Ma'am? You heard me. The second sailor. Who was he? Uh, there wasn't anyone. I was alone. I... I came back to the bar alone. It was Reader, the updated complaint clearly states there were two of you involved in the fight and two of you who removed the croc from the bar. Oh, that guy. He was just this guy at the bar. Oh, come on, Jimmy. two dads. Why would a guy you've just met defend you in a fight and help you steal a pet croc? He was an animal lover too, sir. I suggest you lose the smug attitude. Ma'am, he came forward voluntarily. He should get some credit for that. Lieutenant McGregor, he's clearly protecting someone from the crew. Or perhaps it's a case of misplaced loyalty. Misplaced loyalty or not, he's being subversive and he's lying. Well, is that true? Ma'am, I honestly don't remember. Well, Lady, you have 24 hours to improve that memory and cough up a name or you can start looking for a new career. 
Gel yarım ay ofis. Ek sayan. Kay. I understand what you're doing, and I respect your loyalty. With respect, ma'am, you don't understand anything about it. You're about to screw up your career, I get that. What do you expect me to do? Turn dog? How long would I last? You get on the ship, you find the person, and you convince them to come forward. I already told you, I don't know the bloke. Two dads, I can't think of anyone on the ship dumber than you, but clearly there is someone. Find them, persuade them to step up. Come in. Could I have a word, sir? Sure. How'd you go with Commander White? Um, not so good, sir. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Um, they want me... I'm gonna have to come clean, sir. Otherwise, they're gonna kick me out of the Navy. We had an agreement, son. A drunken promise is a drunken promise, but they're gonna discharge me, sir. Do you know how many leading seamen there are in the Royal Australian Navy? No, sir. 2,198. Do you know how many Lieutenant Commander CEOs there are? 41. 2,241. Who do you think is more difficult to replace? A CEO, sir. Which is exactly why you're going to do what's best for the Navy and take the full blame yourself. Even if it means my career? <laughs> Mate, I've seen your fire. And believe me, so is Commander White. You're a serial troublemaker, Kosov Meyer. A conspicuous flouter of rules, subversive, disrespectful to your superior officers. A liar with a smug attitude. Thanks for talking me up, sir. Oh, that's fine. There's more. I can go on. Point is, mate, you won't do yourself any favours if you go mouthing off about me. No one will believe you. You can go. Yeah, okay. No, I'm not. You're gonna kick me out. What? But you ironed up, right? I've got 24 hours. No, but 20 hours to let them know who the other sailor was with me. Or else I'm gonna get kicked out. So there's someone else. Who was it? What does it matter, Ro? You're not gonna believe me. You could try me. So who do you think he's protecting? Fancy's bird. Was it you? No. The uh, bird was cleaning ovens all night, Bummer. Not all night, Charge. Well, she didn't leave the ship. And where were you, Bummer? Wasn't me. Of course it wasn't. Oh, come on, she wasn't even there. Where? Oh, what? So I'm invisible now? Get out of my galley. I thought we had a date. I thought we cancelled. I'd just like to know why you walked away from me today. Because you've turned. And what's that supposed to mean? Well, you're clearly one of the bureaucrats now. Oh, I'm just doing my job. I have responsibilities that come with this new position, oh, like it or not. Oh, and that includes not supporting your former crew, does it? I have to be impartial. Mm. It's not personal. Oh, that is crap. You know, you hide behind this veneer of command. I look at you with your straight back and your square shoulders and it is your armour and you won't let anyone in because you're afraid. You're an emotional coward, Mike Flynn. <laughs> and I have put up with it for three years now. And sometimes I think that you actually enjoy tormenting me. Oh, come on, Kate. That's unfair. You know the regulations. Yeah, the regulations, they don't apply anymore, do they? You can't hide behind them anymore.
Kurt McGregor, hello. OK. Yep, I'll be there in an hour. Bye. Judy calling. Notice for C. Coburn has a lead on the poachers. Maybe he has no sense of time. hours left, two dads. Time to spill your guts. Come on, two dads, tell us. At least tell Bomber it wasn't me. Listen, everyone, I think the right thing to do is whoever did it to fess up themselves. That's right. Oh, that went well. Right. Well, in the absence of someone volunteering, I guess it's up to you to tell us who it was. Just tell the truth, two It's dads. not worth losing your career over, mate. That's just ridiculous. It was a CEO. Oh, come on. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> uh... Two dads. Really, I thought you'd come up with something better than that, mate. I'm disappointed. <laughs> How much trouble do you have to be in before you start taking things seriously? <laughs> it's your funeral, mate. Unbelievable. Leader, I've tried to explain this nicely to you. And I've given you the opportunity to do the right thing, but you seem not to have understood. I'm sorry, sir. It just slipped out, but like you said, no one believed me. Do we have a communication problem here? Understand this. You make an enemy of me, and your life won't be worth living in or out of the Navy. Got it? What, no smart comment now, sailor? See our request to the bridge. You alright? Two dads? No, no, alright. Hey, two dads, I just want to let you I'm know. Not interested. Oh, sir, we have contact with the poachers. They're right where Coast Watch said they'd be. Mother ship is stationary here, range six nautical miles, and they have just dispatched a zodiac. Right, Dutchie, can you pick that up on the yard? Uh, I've got them, sir. They're headed for that estuary. X, take a rib and go after him. Charge, boarding stations, Swain, boarding stations, go after him with a second rib. Yes, sir. And this time, let's try not to lose anyone, eh? Heading for the mothership, X. Roger that. We'll cover the estuary. Yeah, he's back on the throttle. We don't want to announce our presence. Hey, X, there's plenty of submerged mangroves here. we better take it easy. Yeah, copy that. Stick to the middle of the channel. No telling how far in they could have gone, man. Just keep your eyes peeled. This gives me the creeps. Don't charge. Is this all the crew that were on the mothership? Yes, sir, this is it. Who's the master of the vessel? No, he wasn't on board, sir. What? Where the hell is he? Here he is, sir. You? You saw my crock! You wrecked my bar, now you're gonna pay for it. X, I'll be in my cabin. Ah, two deaths. 
As you know, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, particularly when it concerns you, but I have your disciplinary orders here from command. Ooh. Let me guess. Retention not in interest of Navy? Well, the bad news is no. Mm -hmm. But. It's always a but. They have authorised your pay to be docked until damages of $4,800 have been paid. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, why don't you try donating to the prevention of cruelty to animals? My workout way cheaper for you. Why should I have to make recompense to a poacher? That totally sucks. If I were you, I'd just be grateful you still got a job, mm. unlike Coburn. No, what he did to two dads was an abuse of his power and position. That's not leadership. It's a fair cop, I reckon. I never liked him. And I always believed two dads. Eh? <laughs> no, later. Hey, Bomber. Did Bird tell you the news about two dads? Bird seems to know everything that's going on in this boat. Yeah, she's pretty popular with the crew. Do I detect a note of jealousy there? Yeah, there's a whole symphony going on. Come on. Bomber, don't compare yourself with Bird. I mean, she's a sweet young thing, but... Well, you're... You're a woman. You're a very attractive woman. Be beautiful. So, you're our chef -o as well, so we couldn't exist without you. Thanks, Roy. There are rumours going around about Coburn. Do you know what's going on? The rumours are true. He's been relieved of his command. You OK? You're getting a new CEO. Oh, do you know who? Oh. It's only for a few weeks until I get a permanent replacement. <laughs> 